Good morning. I'm just getting breakfast made. Yes, kids are uh, bouncing a basketball in my house. Can you hear that? <laughs> I am making our favorite steel cut oats recipe today. So I start just by melting some butter. There's some butter melting in that pan or melted in that pan, I should say. Uh, and then I am just going to toast these steel cutouts. They're not instant steel cutouts. They take a little while to cook, but I am just going to toast those in the butter. Next, I'm just going to add some water. A little overflow here. Quickly dry that up. I'm not editing that out. I spilled a bit of water. Okay, I'm also going to add uh, Let's get this towel on straight. I am also going to add some milk. So there's my milk. Why is the milk in the oatmeal? Because it cooks in the oatmeal and makes it so delicious and creamy. And then I add some salt. And then, I'm going to remember this time, some of you guys might remember, last time I made this recipe, I forgot to add the brown sugar. But today, I'm remembering to add some brown sugar. Just a couple of tablespoons, I think. That should be good. Then I'm going to stir this and bring it to a boil. Once it boils, then it has to simmer for about 20 minutes. I just finished a workout. I need to go and shower and get changed. So before you see this again, you might see new clothes on me. It's better, Wesley? Oh, okay, Wesley got hit in the lip with um, a ball and so he came over to me, but it's feeling better now? Oh, I'm so glad. I was hoping this wouldn't boil over while I was away, but it boiled over in just a little bit. But the oats look like they're cooked. You know, most of the liquid is absorbed. And so I am just going to add some bananas. This is definitely gonna sweet up, sweeten up these oats because those are very ripe. And so I think I'm just gonna do, I don't know, I probably only should do one banana. Yeah, I'll just do one banana. And then I'm going to add some berries a little bit later. So when I am slicing up the banana here, I like to just slice it in half this way make more like, bite-sized pieces of banana so I'm gonna slice up all this banana and then it cooks for just a few more minutes before I add some berries right at the end I will definitely link this recipe down below it's such a nice creamy oatmeal we all really enjoy it Okay, usually I would let this cook for a couple more minutes, but it's like most of the liquid is absorbed here and I think the bananas, they're already nice and soft, so they should be fine. I am just gonna add some of these frozen berries. The best way to have this is with fresh strawberries. I'll definitely be doing that a lot this summer when we have uh, strawberries in season because fresh strawberries in this dish is definitely the best, but frozen berries are a fine alternative. Uh, I just kind of eyeball how much I should be adding here. I'll do a little more. That's probably a good amount. And then I think I'll just turn the element off actually. And then just put the lid on because really those berries just need to defrost and then it will be ready to eat. There it is already. Uh, I don't think it looks as good as it tastes. This oatmeal is so, so yummy. We really prefer, well we use the large stick oats a lot, but steel cutouts are so so good this is breakfast for all of us yes even me i'm going to eat with the kids today and i can't wait time for my morning coffee i am loving this new mug i have this size because i don't need a refill of my coffee through the morning this coffee will last me all morning did you want to say hi and want to show so i grabbed out my coffee this morning and i said um i feel like you should be having this coffee it just matches with you so perfectly mm -hmm. so my nice large morning coffee. I'm just about to make some sloppy joe sauce in the crock pot and that's gonna be for supper tonight. This really doesn't need to cook for long, it really just needs to be warmed up. But I have time right now to make it before lunch so I'm gonna do that. So I just have the recipe, let me just pull it up here on my phone and I'll tell you what my ingredients are. So it's super simple. It's just ground beef, onions, peppers, garlic powder, mustard, ketchup, brown sugar, actually, I don't add the brown sugar. I feel like there's enough sweetener with the ketchup, so I don't do that. 
uh, and then just salt and pepper. Although, I was, just before I pulled out the camera, I was like, oh stink, I am almost out of ketchup. But I do remember that I have some barbecue sauce in the fridge too, so I think that should be a fairly seamless substitute. I'll just do some barbecue sauce to make up the difference. Uh, but I'm just gonna get that going in the instant pot on the slow cooker setting. Uh, get that going for dinner tonight. It'll be super nice and easy at dinner time. I also have just up here on top of my stove because that's where I had room to put them. <laughs> let me just let me just take it down and show you. I made these dinner rolls yesterday again, so I didn't have to do it today. So those are just sitting there looking so good. And so that's what we'll have our sloppy Joe sauce on tonight. <laughs> So Wesley just came in and said, Mom, I'm so hungry. And I said, I know, let me just make supper and then I'll make lunch, right? And then what did you ask me? Uh, why don't we make supper then lunch? Why are we making supper and then lunch? Yeah. That does sound kind of silly, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why am I doing that? Uh, because supper, supper's gonna cook for a long time. So I'm gonna finish it. Don't worry, I'll be super quick and then I'll make lunch for us. And lunch will be super oh. quick too. Do you want me to slice you up an apple maybe you can have? While you wait, you'd like an orange? We could probably do that. Okay, he's all set up with his oranges. I think he wasn't quite sure. Hold on, you just pull the peel back. Usually we do clementines, not these navel oranges. And then, there, then you can eat it. So he's all set up with his oranges. I also just quickly put together some Caesar salad dressing. So I'll put the link to this uh, recipe down in the comments or down in the description. <laughs> I always say comments uh, down in the description below as well. It's super easy. It just has mayonnaise, sour cream, Parmesan cheese, garlic powder, salt and pepper. I just like eyeball the ingredients, but I will leave you the link that has, you know, all the specific measurements. This is kind of lame. I'm showing you like exactly what we're having for dinner and it's not even lunch time yet. So before noon, you're going to know basically our full day of food, but we'll have Caesar salad tonight to go with our sloppy joes, and then I'm gonna start chopping up this pepper and this onion. I chopped them up really, really small, as small as I can, uh, so that it's not like super chunky in our um, sloppy joe sauce. Well, Wesley, those sure went down easy. <laughs> it's a good orange, isn't it? My onions and peppers are just in here. They are ready to saute, but I'm gonna add my beef before I actually start it sauteing. So this is typically, this is about a pound and a half of beef, I think, maybe almost two pounds. It's probably a pound and a half, uh, but I just looked at it and thought, mm, that doesn't look like quite enough meat. Uh, a meal like this is definitely one where, wow, yuck, more meat than if I was baking like a casserole or something. So if you guys, are kind of on the fence about getting an instant pot. I will tell you one of my very favorite things. One of the reasons I just think, no, <laughs> did you hear them? One orange is enough. I think I'll slice up some apples to go with our lunch, but I'm gonna say that one orange is enough, okay? Uh, maybe a little bit later. For right now, I want you to go play outside and Mama's gonna make lunch very soon, okay? So one thing that is just so much nicer about the Instant Pot than with the regular slow cooker is that it has a saute option. So I can just press the button here that says saute and then um, it's gonna all cook in here. So I don't need to use a separate pan to saute and then transfer over to this Instant Pot just telling me that it's turning on. I can saute everything in here. It's using fewer dishes and it's just, oh, it's so much more simple when I can do it all in here. So I'm gonna just finish sauteing all of this and then I will add the rest of my ingredients. Set it to slow cook, we're good to go. All of my ingredients are in there now. So I'm gonna turn this to the, where is it, the slow cook button. So that's, it looks so weird on this camera, but it's on high for eight hours. And then I'm just gonna give this a stir. 
I'm sure you could find a healthier sloppy joe recipe, just a second, that uses like tomato sauce instead of ketchup, but um, this is just nice and quick and easy and everybody in this house loves it. Okay, so dinner is cooking, we're done. Dinner is about, it's gonna be so quick and easy, like just before dinner I have to slice up some buns, get salad ready, but that's gonna be so nice and easy. Uh, it's been a little bit crazy because I've been trying to like make the kids lunches, make supper all at once, but here's my lunch. I love when I have leftovers to eat, so we just had a bit of leftover taco meat here. When we made these tacos two nights ago, I had like a left couple leftover pork chops from the night before. So there's ground beef in there and there's pork chops, taco seasoning. I have two boiled eggs and then I have some raw broccoli. I'm gonna put it into this uh, veggie dip. So a nice low carb lunch for me. For the kids lunches, I just plated up some peanut butter and jam sandwiches. I had three boiled eggs so I gave a half boiled egg to my two kids who I know like boiled eggs. I don't think the others do. So everybody just has a sandwich. We're about to take this all outside. So I wanted to just kind of plate everybody's in here. Uh, and then I also have just a couple of apples sliced up. If they need to come back and get more sandwiches, I have some bread here. So this is a loaf of sourdough bread, my favorite sourdough bread recipe that I make on the regular. And then I actually had another loaf of bread here too. So we kind of have a couple different kinds of bread going on. I guess kind of a leftover lunch for everybody. Uh, and then I am still still working on my coffee as well. I still have like half a cup of coffee left here. So that's for lunch. The kids will have milk with their lunch. I say it was a little bit crazy getting all this together and it was like just lunch and supper and getting everything prepped, but the kids were outside playing the whole time. So it wasn't too bad. It was nice and peaceful and quiet in here. Uh, but now I can stay out of the kitchen for a little while. So I love, I love that. It's sometimes nice to get a lot done at once because then I can have a bit of time outside of the kitchen and I'm not like in the kitchen all day long. I mean, it won't be long before we need snacks, but lunch and supper are ready to go. We're about to head to the beach for a little bit this afternoon. So I just sliced up some more oranges. The kids get lots of fruit today. Uh, oranges, and then I just have some of these no name Oreos as well. So we're gonna bring that. It's sometimes a little tricky, like what is a good uh, beach snack? But I think this should work pretty well. Okay, there we go. I am still pretty full <laughs> from my lunch. And so I think I'm just gonna take this and drink that. We also got the kids water bottles all filled up. I feel like they're probably gonna eat too many cookies and I don't know how hungry they'll be for supper afterwards, but uh, I'll try to keep it down to just a couple cookies for each of them and uh, after some time at the beach. I don't know how much swimming there will be, like it is hot outside today, but um, the water's still gonna be pretty cold. It's only May still, so we'll see. But hopefully they still have an appetite to eat some dinner after, after we get home. Here's a closer look at our dinner. So sloppy joe, sandwiches, really nice and sloppy. We're definitely setting napkins to the table. And then I just put together this um, Caesar salad. We're gonna go eat outside again tonight because we're just having such a nice day. Pretty sure that's the end of our eating for today. With it being spring and like, I mean, practically it feels like summer with like the kids back in baseball and just, we just like to enjoy our evenings. And so we definitely have a few nights a week where we eat earlier now, where we're eating at five o'clock. And then of course we want a snack in the evening. But today, in today's video, we're not doing anything this evening. So we didn't eat until about quarter after six. So that should be about the end of this full day of food. I did have another coffee this afternoon and I will probably have, I don't know, I guess I already had a sparkling water today. So I might not have anything else today, but um, I will come back at some point this evening and close this full day of food. Finishing off my evening with just one more glass of water. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Good night.